So welcome back to some FIFA history. Today we're on FIFA 19 once again. Today we are playing a bit of FIFA history. We're going to be playing a 1960s match in the game. If you remember, the journey had some sort of 1960s match in it. And I thought, why not take a look at it once again and see what it's like in 2022? Because it's been a couple of years since I actually played the journey and I wanted to relive the memories. Now, if you enjoy the video, leave a like for me and make sure you subscribe for more FIFA history videos. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins, check out Mule Factory. The link will be in the description. If you use my code VAPEXFOOT, you also get 5% off. Have a good match. I will. Hundredth goal's been hard to come by, eh, Jimmy boy? No harder than the first 99. I'll be thinking you'll be getting it now, my son. So here we go, a bit of retro FIFA here, and I remember in the journey you had to actually score this corner. I don't know what happens if you never score it, but as you can see, the presentation for this is so unique, so cool. We just hit the bar there. Look at the crowd, there's no ad boards. Look at the ball, look at the grass. Can I just score this thing, man? How many times do I need to do this? Come on. Less power. There we go. Top corner. And I just love the presentation of this. I think it's around 1960s. Uh, this was when uh, Alex's grandfather, I think, was playing. But it was really nice of EA to create something like this because it's not something you see in FIFA usually, you know. You're used to all the, the latest stuff, the latest stadiums, the grass looking immaculate. And this is really cool. Look at the old broadcast packaging. You know, you've got Jim Hunter there. Coventry versus Man United here. Fantastic presentation, very, very unique. A lot of a uh, retro feel to this. Now, for this one, we've got the commentary off, but at the end of the video, I'll play snippets of the John Motson commentary. That guy was also a commentator that did old FIFA games as well, so when I hear his voice in this, it does bring back a lot of memories. So, we'll have some John Motson commentary at the end of this uh, thing when I'm done playing. But as you can see here, it's so unique. Even when I pause it, um, you've got the retro menu. Look at that, just three things there. I can't get over it, man. It looks so nice. It's been a couple years since I played this, but I remember at the time, I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, obviously, the ball is not like a Nike one or anything like that. Is there a replay I can take a look at? No. I was going to zoom into the ball and stuff, but the ball is just one of those old-looking footballs. Uh, it sort of feels skatey still. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm running in mud or something like that. It sort of feels normal. Um, let's see what we can do here. I remember that it was always hard to score a second goal because the AI wasn't too bad in this little game, but... You can see a lot of mud on the grass. You've got the broadcast packaging giving you like this retro look to the screen. Uh, I think there's like some, I don't know what to call it, lines or something going across my screen. And there we go. Can we score? No. The referee even wears an old kit. There's no advertising on the boards as you can see. The crowd is wearing like just greys, those sort of jumper things. And the ground obviously, I don't even know which ground we're playing at, but it looks like a generic stadium. Uh, a very old stadium. But it's so cool, man. Just to relive these uh, old FIFA games. Because the journey wasn't that bad, okay? Yes, it was pretty linear. But it had some cool features that you just don't see in career mode and stuff. And that's what I liked about the journey. Uh, you played stuff that you didn't really see before. And you saw dialogue and players getting involved and stuff. It wasn't that bad looking back. It's probably better than... It was probably better than player career before EA sort of revamped it a little bit in FIFA 22. But um, we're trying to score a second goal here. It's very hard. You can see even the scoreboard is like this old digital clock thing. I don't know what that is, but there's no bells and whistles here. There's no advertisers. Just simple FIFA gameplay from the 1960s. If FIFA 1960 came out, it would look something like that. Can we try and score, men? So we've got Thompson on the ball here. 
And he goes across. We've got that. Hughes play through. No, nah, loses out. I told you the AI wasn't too bad in this little game mode. They should just make a game mode like this in FIFA 23. Just have like a 1960s match. They, they do have the assets for it. Like they just need to transport this into the game. Like they did with Volta and stuff. They could do it if they want. You can see the goals as well. No fancy nets or anything like that. Yeah, I just love this. Let's put a through ball in. Wilson, got a score here. Come on, boys. Have a hit, mate. Yes, there we go. Nice finish. And uh, look at this. We've got all the dirt on the pants and stuff. A long sleeve jumper as well. I don't know if they're playing in like summer or winter there, but yeah, I mean, the, the kits are very retro looking. Let me know if you played the journey. Uh, I did at the time. I finished all three years, but I, I pretty much forgot the storyline by now anyway. It's been a couple years, of course. I, I, I forgot the FIFA 17 one and that. It wasn't too bad, but, you know, it wasn't as good as a lot of people thought it was going to be. Here's Roberts. Bring it forward here. Looking for the through pass to Hunter. Oh, he's lost it, but it falls to another guy in that shot. Needed a bit more power behind it. Didn't have his wheat bix that morning. Uh, I don't know if wheat bix was around in 1960. No aerodynamics on those boots at all. And uh, no hyper motion, whatever it's called as well. And uh, let's play that through. That's a nice little thing. Let's go down the left. Look at that. No pace on these guys whatsoever. They're probably eating burgers before the match started. Who knows? Come on, Walker. Hughes wins it. We've got Roberts. Come on. Go for distance. Lewis with the strike. Oh, hits the... Is that an imaginary post? Here we go. Lay it off. Nice. Play it through. Nice pass. No pace whatsoever. We haven't got Mbappe up front today. 87 minutes done. And let's see. Yeah, it's just nice reliving these memories. Let's float it in. See if we can win that. Ooh. Very nice, man. I love this little retro feel to it. And the, the commentary made it so iconic as well because hearing John Motson once again brought back the memories of those old uh, FIFA games, you know, from like, I don't know what year it was, but I remember used to do the old ones. I mean, the gameplay feels like FIFA 19. It's not, it doesn't feel like you're, you're playing in mud or anything like that. Let's just play it through here. Chip the keep, but no. Roberts laid off. Got to be a goal here. Oh, he skies it. It's gone over the stadium. But I love the detail on the shirts as well. So much mud on the pants and stuff. It's definitely nice seeing all the old stuff once again. That's why I do FIFA history because I love going back and just reliving the memories. And uh, of course the old FIFA games had some cool stuff as well that you don't see in modern ones. So it's always nice going back and taking a look. Uh, this injury time's going for a long time here. Let's see what Wilson can do. Can we get another goal here? No. Nah. Almost hit the ball boy. I'm surprised they had ball boys in 1960. There's a few around the ground. There we go, Jim Hunter holding the ball. No Nike or Adidas ball there. And uh, no Nike kits there as well. Um, obviously, the crowd as well looks very old. Uh, they got those hats and the, the, the blazers and stuff, I guess. So, yeah, I love this package. Um, I wish we saw more of it. You know, the journey had some good assets in it. There's a ground shot. Very, very nice. I can't believe they played football on the telly back in the Stone Ages. Yeah, and everything was black and white for real then, too. Got an answer for everything, haven't you? Cool as you like your brother. <laughs> <laughs> of course, back then, we didn't have all the fuss you lot get these days, you know. We played for 150 quid a week if we won. Come on, really? Uh, to us, it was all about just playing the game. <laughs> hey, look at that. Sweet as a nut, eh? <laughs> Not easy keeping a shot like that on target. And they've swung it right in. And he's really having a go here. Oh, and it's there. Jim Hunter equalises with his 100th career goal. And what a beauty it was. Left foot volley. Caught sweet as a nut. That's one he won't forget in a hurry. Oh, here we go again. It's one all. Here's Robinson. Now Davis. No, the pass just wasn't good enough. Oh, he ought to get his cross in here. Corner, and no slip-ups at all from the goalkeeper. They'll be jumping for this one in the middle. Oh, that's the way to relieve your lines. Quite a routine save there, really. Well, as we know, the beautiful game is always evolving, and it looks like we're on the horizon for yet another change. 
FIFA has announced that for the 1970 World Cup, they're going to... Inter oh, what a poor challenge. Oh, that was so incisive. Oh, he's in a great position. He must score. He just got underneath it there. Manchester United with the ball. Oh, this is a long way out, but what a shot. And that's a goal, there's no doubt about it. Here's Lewis. Oh, that's a great goal. Well, there's the final whistle. Disappointing result for Coventry, especially considering how well they played over the first 50 or 60 minutes. But this game will be remembered for Jim Hunter's 100th career goal. What a way to mark the milestone with a cracker of a volley. Thanks for joining us here. We hope to see you again next time.